they forged an instrument, a knife, that in the hands of the right person could cut the very fabric that joins worlds. They christened that person the bearer, and the knife they called the subtle knife. When Lyra decides to enter the portal made by her father, she walks into a parallel universe, holding the city of Chittagatse. Finally reaching the city with at its center a massive tower, she meets Will, who has entered this universe through a portal on his own world, after being hunted by Carlo. They quickly realize that the city is devoid of living adults and infected by specters. They then stumble upon two other young girls, Angelica and Paola. The two girls reveal to them that the specters suck the soul out of every adult they come across and leave their bodies behind as dried up husks. Later that night, Lyra and Will talk about their worlds when Lyra becomes convinced that she can find answers about the nature of dust in Will's world, so she asks him to take her there. In Lyra's world, the Magisterium, led by Cardinal Sturrock, wants to close the portal since he believes the idea of a multiverse to be heresy, but Marissa persuades him to interrogate a captured witch for information about Asriel and the portal. However, after the captured witch has told Marissa that Lyra is the main ingredient of a witch prophecy and is on the verge of spilling too much information, the witch Ruta Skadi boards their ship and mercy kills the witch and then escapes, but not before killing some soldiers and fatally wounding Cardinal Sturrock. Back in Chittagatse, Lyra and Will use the portal Will came through and are directly transported to his world. However, their arrival has been witnessed by Carlo, who watches them pass by his car. Having to care for his helpless mother while still on the run for the accidental murder, Will tells Lyra that they will meet later at the Botanic Gardens and goes to meet with his grandparents to access his father's funds. However, instead of helping him, his grandparents rat him out by calling the cops, but a cunning Will realizes this and escapes before the authorities arrive. Meanwhile, Lyra visits scientist Mary Malone, after the elitiometer had told her that she could tell Lyra more about dust. In an enthusiastic spree of words, Lyra tells Mary about her world, dust and its properties. Intrigued, Mary tells Lyra that she is researching dark matter and that Lyra's dust and her dark matter seem to be one and the same. She tells Lyra about the cave, a machine she has built to communicate with dark matter. When they then hook Lyra up to the cave, the machine tells them that Mary has something important to do and will need the I Ching book to do it. It also reminds Lyra that she has to meet Will at the Botanic Gardens. Once there, she reveals to him that the elitiometer has told her that his father is still alive and that they need to find him. In Lyra's world, Cardinal Sturrock has died, causing the Magisterium to vow vengeance against the witches. Persuaded by Marissa, MacPhail decides to make a move for the cardinal position and bombs the lands of the witches, leading to him being chosen as the new cardinal. While Marissa learns from Thorold, Asriel's assistant, that Lyra is in another universe. After Lyra and Will travel back to Chittagatse, Lyra goes back to Will's world to visit Mary. However, before they can really talk, Lyra is chased by Inspector Walters, who is set on capturing her and Will. With Mary's help, Lyra manages to escape by running into Carlo, who offers her a ride to freedom. But when she leaves his car, she soon realizes that he has stolen her lithiometer. Meanwhile in Chittagatse, Angelica tells Will about the tower called Torre degli Angeli and that it belonged to the guild, a group of philosophers who were forced to flee from the specters. He then meets up with Lyra in his world, where she tells him that Carlo has stolen her elitiometer, but that she knows where to find him. That night they visit Carlo, who reveals to them that he knows who they really are and that he is willing to trade the elitiometer against the subtle knife, an artifact in the possession of someone located in the Torre degli Angeli. Back in Lyra's world, Lee Scoresby is looking for Stanislaw Grumman and arrives at the Samirsky Hotel. After following clues of Grumman's whereabouts, he is attacked by a Magisterium loyalist, arrested and locked up. 
Marissa visits him to find out where Lyra is, but Lee tells her that he would never betray Lyra. When Marissa then receives word from Carlo about Lyra, she frees Lee since he proved his loyalty to her daughter. Back in Chittagatsi, Lyra and Will try to locate an entrance in the Torre degli Angeli, while a narrator tells the tale of the guild. How 300 years ago, these philosophers had created a subtle knife, a knife that can cut through any material and can open a window into any universe. However, instead of using the knife for good, the guild invaded other universes and stole their inventions to bring back to Chittagatsi, but also leaving openings for specters to invade their city. Thanks to Pan, Will and Lyra find the entrance to the tower and stumble upon Giacomo Paradisi, the bearer of the knife, who is bound by Tullio. Will confronts Tullio and manages to defeat him, but also loses two fingers in the process. Giacomo explains that Will has become the new bearer of the subtle knife and teaches him how to open windows using the knife. With the mantle successfully passed on to Will, Giacomo takes his own life before the specters can reach him. Meanwhile, Lee finally locates Grumman, who tells him to call him Jopari and reveals that he needs his help in finding the bearer and the subtle knife, which can kill immortal beings and bring them both to Lord Azriel as a weapon that can win them the upcoming multiversal war. Waged between two cosmic forces, one that wants to suppress them while the other wants to free them. Somewhat persuaded by his arguments, Lee decides to join forces with Jopari to locate Lyra and the bearer. Meanwhile, Serafina, Pekala and other witches go through the portal in their world to locate and help Lyra. In Will's world, Mary is finally able to talk with the Dark Matter, which reveals to her that they are in fact uncountable billions of angels who have guided and intervened in human evolution for the sole purpose of vengeance. Now realizing the capabilities of the subtle knife, Lyra and Will agree that trading it for the elitiometer is the worst deal in the history of deals ever. They decide to cut a window from Chittagatsi straight into Carlo's home to take back the elitiometer. However, Will has trouble cutting a window and they need to find the right spot. Meanwhile in Will's world, Marissa visits Carlo, who shows her around. While in the cave, the angels tell Mary that she must play the serpent and save the boy and the girl. With guiding tips from the angels, she locates a window in her world and steps through it into Chittagatsi. Lyra and Will then find the right window and travel from Chittagatsi to Will's world. While Lyra rings the doorbell, Will is supposed to cut a window into Carlo's house and retrieve the elitiometer. However, things do not go as planned when Marissa's demon notices that Will is in the house and hisses at him. Hearing the noise, Lyra rushes in the house to help Will, but instead finds her mother there and has Pan attack her mother's demon, while Will fights off Carlo and retrieves the elitiometer. With the truth-telling device back in their hands, Will and Lyra quickly escape back to Chittagatsi using a window. In Lyra's world, Lee and Jopari also use their portal to travel to the world of Chittagatsi. Also back there, Lyra and Will are found by Serafina, who has arrived in Chittagatsi with her sister Riches to help Lyra fulfill her prophecy of becoming Eve, the mother of them all. Wanting to find his father, Will asks Lyra to ask the Elitiometer where he is, with the Elitiometer revealing that he is also in their world and that they must continue to go up the mountain. Meanwhile, Mary has also entered Chittagatsi with her I Ching book, her talking medium with the angels, and stumbles upon Angelica and Paola, who realize that the specters somehow do not harm her, not knowing that Mary is protected by angels. In another part of the city, Marissa and Carlo are looking for Lyra and Will when they encounter the specters and find out that they do not harm Marissa, since she believes she's hiding her humanity from them, so they have nothing to consume. Deeply angry with him, but not showing it, Marissa poisons and kills Carlo for not giving her Lyra when he had found her the first time. At the Magisterium, Fra Pavel tells MacPhail that Marissa has gone after Lyra into another world and that Lyra is destined to become Eve and also the downfall of the Magisterium. Hearing this news, an afraid and angry MacPhail orders Magisterium forces to go through the window and hunt down Lyra. 
When Lee and Jopari then fly near Chitagatsi, they are attacked by Magisterium forces. Using his shamanic powers, Jopari is able to take out two of the Zeppelins, but a third one shoots them down. While Will, Lyra and their witch escort continue their journey to locate Will's father, Brutascadi gathers intelligence by listening in on the cliff gas, who are talking about an upcoming war between Azrael and something called the Authority, and that if Azrael hopes to win the war, he needs the Asahetra, aka the subtle knife and its bearer. Heading back to Serafina, Bruta informs her of the upcoming war and that they need to rally their forces and join Azrael. With Ruta going to search for Azriel, Serafina tells Lina to go to Chitagatsi after having heard rumors of an adult roaming the city unharmed by the specters. But when Lina arrives in the city, she is soon captured and killed by Marissa after having revealed to her that Lyra is the second coming of Eve. Meanwhile, Lee and Jopari are ruthlessly hunted by Magisterium soldiers, forcing Lee to sacrifice himself so that Jopari can find Lyra. However, before he died, Lee had called Serafina using Cloud Pine, forcing the witch to come to his aid, but too late. After having a premonition about meeting his father, Will leaves Lyra's company and indeed finds his father, who turns out to be Joe Parry, aka John Parry. His father tells him of the important role he has to play in the upcoming war. But before they can further bond, a Magisterium soldier shoots at Will, but his father turns to the bullet and is killed instead. After having taken Angelica and Paola to their adults, Mary is guided on her mission by the I Ching book, while Marissa finds an unprotected Lyra and kidnaps her. With Lord Azriel's mission finally gaining momentum, he locates the angels and tells them that he wants to fight the evil forces in the multiverse, led by the authority. He asks the angels if they are with him or against him, to which they reply that they are with him. Good. Then let us prepare for war.